Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be about a small mod that you can do to your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, and that is change their color through software. Well, okay, yeah, sort of. You can sort of do that. Um, I'm not talking about physically changing the color. I mean changing the color of how they appear on the system. So if you see here, we have uh, whatever good quality this is. Essentially, that's gray uh, Joy-Con uh, body color with black buttons. I know this is... there you go. Okay, so gray body, black buttons. We're going to change that as to how it appears in the system to something else. So what we can do with this is we're going to use a application called Noicon Toolkit, in this case version 251, which is the latest as of like June, I think. Um, so basically what this is going to do is change the software in the Joy-Con itself and how it's represented on the Switch tablet uh, part of this. So you can take your Joy-Cons from your tablet, put it in someone else's, and it'll still show the same colors because the colors are stored on a per Joy-Con basis. They're stored physically on the Joy-Con itself. Um, this is not something that's uh, screen-based. So let's open up here, and I'll put the link to the description in this uh, below. So what we need to do is we're going to disconnect both Joy-Cons, and we need to pair these to your computer. Now, if I feel like I'm forgetting a step, I probably am. What we're going to do first is we're going to open up... Uh, JC Tool, Joy-Con Toolkit, and you'll notice that it says uh, that it needs to be synced in. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to hold down this little button right here, and you're going to watch for the LEDs to bounce up and down. That means it's in pairing mode. So hold it down. There. So when they're doing this, I'll leave this on screen so you can see. We're going to go down to Settings, and... Add Bluetooth, yes, in this case it's the left. Now if you don't have Bluetooth built into your laptop like I do, uh, then if you have a desktop you need to get a card, if you have a laptop you don't have it built in, you need an external Bluetooth adapter, but this only works through Bluetooth. So it's done, down here it says Joy-Con is ready. We will go back into this, hit retry, You'll feel the controller vibrate, and it's stuck on one. So what we're going to do here, very first thing you're going to want to do is back up the SPI. You're going to want to back up the internal storage somewhere on your computer. In this case, I've already done the backup of left and right. So if anything goes wrong, I can restore it. I'll be back to 100% factory. And it's convenient. It even shows you what firmware version uh, for your Joy-Con that you're running. So you can tell if they're matched or not, uh, if they're old, whatever. Um, so basically with this, now that you've seen the LED, uh, we can put this down for a second. And we're going to go in here to body color. Now this is a live preview. So let's do body color. Oh, I don't know. How about, let's do McDonald's. Everyone likes McDonald's, right? Yeah, hope not. Okay, so we'll do that. And buttons will pick a bright yellow. There you go. So McDonald's colors, right? So if I hit right colors, you want to continue. Yes, we've already done a backup. You will feel the controller vibrate once. All colors were written. And ta-da! Look at that. It's red and yellow. No, it's not. But wait. We take this. And we'll put this back in. Now watch the sidebar where it clicks in up here. You have a small animation. And then watch over here where it shows uh, the controller that's in. You may have to put it in, take it out, and put it back in one more time to be complete. Aha, you see that? Sorry if my webcam doesn't seem to do this very well. We're now red and yellow. I noticed the animation wasn't right. So we take it out. Now if you see down at the bottom, now let's put it back in and watch the animation again. 
See it's red? There you're good to go. Now when you take it out, you'll notice that what's paired is a red and yellow controller. So we can go ahead and leave this in for a minute. Let's go ahead and do the other one. So again, same thing. You can close that, go back into Add, Bluetooth, hold down the pairing button until it goes like that. Joy-Con right. Setting up, wait till it says it's finished. Device is ready. Okay. Kill that. Let's go back. Open this up again. Did I not do it? What happened? There we go. Okay. So we're still on the... I don't think that was factory colors. That's what I put it back to so I could start the video over. But again, let's do, let's do something a little different with this one. Uh, let's make it a bright green body with, oh, I don't know, how about hot pink or purple buttons? You know what? I actually kind of like that look. <laughs> actually looks pretty good. Okay, so we hit right colors. Want to continue? Yes. You can feel it vibrate. Colors were written. Okay. Now we go for the test. Come in here. And now let's watch what happens here. So you wait for it. Sorry about this. I'm trying to get my angles right. So there you go. It is green and purple. Now, if we take this out, if you'll notice, right down there, uh, sorry for the quality of my webcam here. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, I really need a better setup. But uh, yeah, it's basically, my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There you go, sort of. So it is green and purple as wireless. And if we dock it in, we'll be able to show you right here. that it's now green and purple. So you can do fully customized, customized colors here. I really need a better setup. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I try to make make it do with what I've got and my recording setup really just isn't awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's how you change the color of your Joy-Cons uh, through software. And you can do this to any of them. I'm not sure if there's a firmware uh, limit that they have to be above a certain firmware because remember there was an update uh, recently with Nintendo Switch firmware that upgraded the Joy-Cons internal firmware as well. So that may or may not play a role in it. Um, I do also want to point out one thing, that the blue home button here, that does not change color. Um, that is actually an LED on the board. So if you want to change that color, it's going to be a hardware change, which means you're going to have to desolder some stuff. You're going to have to risk destroying the board. Um, please know what you're doing, but I generally would not recommend that. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's a fairly easily customizable thing. Um, it's one step closer to making it your own. It's kind of unique. You can set color patterns. Um, and now there is, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear this, probably not, but I'm going to try this real quick, just out of curiosity. If you look down here in the bottom where it says, uh, where you see temperature, if you go over here to voltage and left click on it, and you'll notice it's uh, having some issues here. 
Let me repair this really quick here. Okay. So this is my right. Remove that really quick. I'll show you what I mean. It's an Easter egg in the uh, Joy-Con toolkit that's supposed to be like an HD rumble player. Um, so it's supposed to play music through the, uh, the rumble device in here. I tried it. It sounds kind of funny, but um, I mean, it does something. I guess there's other ways that it works. So you can download files that play different uh, songs. But uh, basically, it's right. Left click on that. It says, Ray, you found an Easter egg. Uh, it was slow or choppy. It doesn't really sound like music, but I will see if I can get this to make some sound for you guys real quick. So it's going to be down here in the bottom. And you basically want to put that up to your ear so you can hear it. There's the motor, and then there's something else that's making a rather high pitch, almost like a speaker noise. It's kind of hard to tell. So I'll put it up against the mic and see if you can uh, catch any of this or not. Okay, so, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, and apparently there's no stop button here either. It's still playing, by the way. <laughs> um, here, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, it, it just sounds like it's just out of sync. It's out of tune. It's, it obviously does something, and I give them that. But, uh, okay, so we can stop it by putting it in the switch. Um, and apparently it keeps the LED on, which is kind of strange, but so yeah. And that's the other thing. If you've done that, oh, it went off now. I put it in and the, uh, home button LED was still blue, but, uh, yeah. So what you can do with that is under HD rumble player and now it's not responding. <laughs> It does have some bugs that needs to work out. But under HD Rumble Player, you can select files that are meant for that and that are built using uh, whatever software that will play songs through the Rumble Player in the Joy-Con. It's kind of weird, but it is cool. I, I'll give you that. It's a really cool, nifty little thing that I've, I'm kind of interested in taking a peek at. So I might have to do another video on that and see what I can find, what I can dig up. Uh, maybe got some Breath of the Wild themes, uh, fast RMX music, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, something. <laughs> but it's something I definitely want to look into. So, yeah. And, of course, it crashed, so goodbye. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys uh, liked the video. Let me know if you've come up with any other ideas. Um, remember, before you go doing any changes to these Joy-Cons with the, with the software, always back up your SPI. Always. If something goes wrong, you definitely want to be able to get this back to a factory spec. Now, it's not a guarantee, but it is your best bet at saving a Joy-Con from certain death. So, with that, hope you guys liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.